Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100,000k run on the Inverted Spire. I'm doing it on the Striker. Uh, top tree of the subclass, obviously, to get double pulse grenades. I'm running Midnight Coop. I'm running Subtle Calamity, so I've got a Void Weapon because one of the modifiers we've got on is Match Game. As you know that any unmatched elemental damage is just nothing. But we're also using... Obviously, the Thunderlord, because it's come out this week, and it really didn't care about the shields. It, it still took the shields down, which I was quite surprised at. I'm running Insmountable Skull Fork. Obviously, the health back on melee kills. And if you shoulder charge and you get that seismic effect, it gives you tons of grenade energy back, depending on how many you kill. But because... Because I'm trying to do a run that, that can be done on all characters, I kind of keep it down to a minimum. I think there's like one big shoulder charge I do that you could you could actually do with the... You could have took all those ads with the Thunderlord. Now, I, I chose the Inverted Spire because I figured that would be the easiest one to get the score on for you guys. It's about a 15-minute run, so you still had this three minutes leeway on scoring points. Because as you guys know, and if you don't know, you score maximum points for the first 15 minutes of the strike. Then the next three minutes, you score those points at half. So if you were getting 100 points per kill, you'll only get 50 points per kill between 15 and 18 minutes. So I, I've, I've done it in 15 minutes. You've got three minutes of a leeway. As you can see, I've got 60 power handicap, and I, I chose to have that power handicap because I wanted to keep heavyweight on. It just makes the strike a lot easier. And as you can see, heavyweight, if you take it off, you're doing it as a fire team. If you take it off, it gives you that another plus one. Match game gives you a plus one modifier as well. So that's what we're going to be running. Arc Singe, Heavyweight, uh, Match Game and Momentum. And I'm going to be honest, I, I I chose the Inverted Spire to do my first run on because I thought it would be pretty easy. But there really isn't that much more than 100,000 in this strike. So that, that was quite strange that, you know, there wasn't... A, at the end, I do melt the boss in the first section. You don't have to do that. You can just take him down to half health, then clear out all the ads. There's probably another 10, 15,000 points in the strike if you take out the ads at the boss. So as you can see, we start. This first section, you don't score any points in. The Nightfall doesn't start until you go over the main, the big teleporter in the last, kind of se last one of these sections. So you don't actually... So that you don't score any points here, but also... the 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 nightfall improper hasn't started so i could have just used the thunder lord and took them down it would have melted their shields uh i'm going uh, after after i'm um, after this run obviously i'm going to give norcris a go because i figure with these this setup norcris is practically all 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 uh, arc so it, it plays itself right into to using these modifiers and, and with the amount of yellow bars I reckon 100,000 is going to be so easy to get. This this one, it is easy to get the 100,000, but it's not, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, I've got 150,000. You're just not going to do that on this one. But as I say, you'll see, there's no heroics involved. Just kill the ads out in front of you with these modifiers, this, this power handicap, and you'll get the score. So the other thing a lot of people used to ask me in year one was, how I get my spiral going over this section. So probably most people know how to do it, but I'll explain anyway. When you jump into the teleporter, as soon as you see your character start to move through the air past the teleporter. So right now I use a a, a fast a fast uh, you know summoning summon this one immediately, faster summon summoning for the spiral, whatever the whatever the perk is, and just call it mid air. And that'll be you. So I am going to shoulder charge these first enemies, but it's no big deal. You guys could just shoot them. It's practically as quick. I just like the melee on stuff like this because, as you can see here, I can't hit a crit. <laughs> I obviously can't hit crits. I'm, I'm joking. Calm down, guys. So I'll pre-nade that opening because there's going to be a heap of ads. There's a there's an exploder that will always try and come around the rock to the left. Just take, take that exploder out and those... The Hydras are just waiting to be killed, and the Thunderlord its actually got really good range to go with its power. So, there's 10,000 just about, you know. So, now, it's all about taking the ads out. Now, because we've got that, we've, we've got that 60, 60 uh, handicap, you do take a fair bit of damage. But, 
you're probably wondering why I don't just go ham with the, you know, at this point you could just unleash the Thunderlord. Well, there you go. I will. <laughs> the reason I didn't do it to start with is heavyweight gives you more heavy ammo, but only if you're not constantly killing with your heavy ammo. So you'll see there'll be a couple of times I'll take ads down quite low with the heavy. I'll switch to primary and finish them to get the heavy ammo drop. Thunderlord's perk is just... I said it before, I said it in my... If you haven't seen it, check out the solo uh, Warden of Nothing I've done using the, the Thunderlord. And I said it in that, that I, I, I didn't really know where the Thunderlord would fit in, where heavy machine guns would fit in, into, you know, with, with things like the Whisper and the Sleeper. and It fits in. It's, it, they've really done a good job of of uh, making it a viable heavy. And that kind of electrical charge you get on kills, you'll see at the boss, and I'll explain this now, at the boss, those electrical charge are hitting that boss that hard that he he's, he can't fire at you. Which is good because he his, his, his attack is arc and we've got arc syndrome. Now, because heavyweight gives you heavy ammo, it allows you to use your heavy more often than the nightfall. But because we want to use what heavy, you're not going to get a lot of drops if you're just running through this t constantly using your heavy. So the reason I'm, I'm wasting a little bit of time here is because I've seen a brick of heavy drop on there. We're going to go and get this heavy, which will allow us to kill with 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 no you know without stressing about heavy. We can kill these two orange bars because that's where your points come from. Killing the heavier enemies that is where your points come from. And the Thunderlord makes light work of them. Now, bearing in mind, guys, as you can see, I'm going to drop him, and he'll drop heavy because I killed him with my 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 uh, my heavy. But as I was going to say, bear in mind, guys, we're doing this with a 60 power handicap. So in this strike, we're doing this at the recommended level with 540, and the Thunderlord is is reacting as if you know we haven't dropped any any power. It's just it's 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 such a good weapon. Um, to answer a to answer a comment that was on, I had two kind of comments on the last video, and one of them was that that the the quest for this isn't very hard to get. Well, kind of glad that they didn't make this an elitist weapon. You know, you can only like like something like the Malfeasance or something. I think everybody should have should have the opportunity to get this weapon. So I don't think this should have been a quest with any real any real difficulty so this section is where you're going to score a fair amount of your points so we're at 30,000 so there's a there's quite a few enemies here a few orange bars take these two up, uh, out up here watch out for his rocket attack because it's arc it will not only suppress but also damage you and take out all the ads in this room this is where your first kind of boss is going to be take them all out in this room now we, we, I wouldn't say it was unfortunate, but we had the other, in, in this run, we've got the other boss location. So he, he isn't in the other room. He's down, he's down at the teleporters, which is fine. It's no big deal. You know, the Thunderlord's range, well, you know, we'll sort that out. If you've got your super, I suggest, the re I, I try, you know, I took the shields down because it is match game. So, and I know I can't damage these, these centurions, I'm, I'm I'm trying to take out the just the normal, the goblins, and then I can come back over here, and they do push me a little bit. It's no big deal once you get past here. There's they'll only come so far, and then they'll go back. They'll teleport straight back to where they were, and then you can try and get your your uh, uh, your your bow if you're using these weapons. As you can see, they've teleported back, so now you can try and get your bow to get that explosive effect. Because they'll all kind of be bunched up. And there you go. All the shields are down. Now I can just pump a grenade on them. And that's all she wrote. And it's, th you know, you, you get 1,100 points for each one of them. So there's, there's 3,000. The I think the place you score probably the most amount of points in one bulk area is when we go over here across the teleporter. Once we drop down, there's, there is a lot of ads to be killed there. I think there's a lot of points to get there. Now, I didn't bother with solar because there is only, to my, you know, I I think 
there's three enemies that have solar shields so we can bypass them and make sure we can deal with the void and deal with well obviously we're setting up for arc and our secondary elemental you know type that we're going to focus on is void because of all the void minotaurs and void shields now there are two versions of the strike but in both versions you really don't deal with a lot of solar so i personally wouldn't focus on solar i would stick with arc and void so we're now we've got just under forty thousand, just under fifty thousand. sorry when we put this grenade down up here that'll take us to the 50. i put the grenade where i put it to try and get the explosive barrel which will kill all the cabal and we dropped a bit of heavy which is always good because we were running low but you do drop a lot of heavy down here now again i, I am using shoulder charge you don't have to you can clear out all these ads now as you can see i'm trying to kill as many of them with my primary as i can uh we'll take down this boy's shield and then wait for him to teleport and then fire at him it means he's not can't escape your damage and primary kills as i've demonstrated here will drop you heavy so we have heavy on the floor we've got full heavy so we can use some heavy my suggestion especially in areas like these is don't you really have to kind of uh manage your ammunition now i can go a little bit i wouldn't say crazy but i can use my heavy a bit because i knew i had heavy line on the floor so we want to come out of here with full heavy you always want to have a good bit of heavy now this is what i was talking about match game so there's a void shield melted thunder love really is it's so good <laughs> um actually when i when i done that i was wondering how uh, you know if, if i could have if i could have done that from the start without switching a load of harpies here this is what shoulder charge will give you four thousand points from one shoulder charge and we're at 68 you know you do get a lot of points here and we haven't finished Fair amount of points just from a small section. There's another 72,000. We've got more heavy because we changed to... Now, you could stay here because, as I said, it's only a 15-minute run. You've got three minutes to burn. You could have stayed there and cleared another wave of ads. You know? It's it's entirely up to you. I chose to go because I thought I'd be safe. So we know we've got a load of heavy. And we're going to get this lightning effect going. There's another 4,000 points. There's still another couple of enemies. So you're looking at nearly 5,000 points from this little section. You're looking at over 5,000 points for that little section. With 78,000. So not not that you guys are stupid, but that means we need 22,000. You're going to get about five for the boss. So it's, you, it's, you've got to kill these enemies here. Now, there will always be a wanted. I was very fortunate that... The, the wanted we got here and you'll see that lightning just when the lightning hits this this enemy watch how much damage it get it just absolutely annihilates that wanted and that was the wanted i need and it's five thousand points so now we need i'm going to stop saying it because you guys can see it on the screen but <laughs> now we need sixteen thousand points sixteen thousand five hundred and six hundred nods so we're going to take the rest of these ads now when we get past this area I did actually have a little look at taking out some of the goblins because the goblins are, you know, you'll get a thousand points minimum, fifteen hundred points per goblin. But they do that much damage. They're that far away, and the weapons I've got won't take them down fast enough that I I decided against it. You'll see I get hit pretty hard, and that's enough. But I am going to take, as you can see, we're. At we're just coming up for 12 minutes. We've got six minutes of point scoring. We've got three minutes of point scoring at max points. So I'm not going to mess about. I know I'm getting good points. I know there's still points to be made in the boss room. So we're going to take down these ads for points. But also we're going to take these ads down for a safe passage. We don't want to be trying to get past. We don't want to chance it. We don't want to be taking, trying to run past ads that you know, could could make life more difficult. So once we take down these ads, we're just going to get on my spiral and we're going to go. We need just under 10,000. Now, you will see here, I think I take one goblin 
And then I had a hobgoblin. He retaliates, and that's that's about all she wrote. So there we go. We took that goblin. I hit a hobgoblin. He hits me. I'm gone. That's that's enough. We need, you know, we're at 91,000. And we haven't even killed every ad we could, could have killed. Now, as I said at the start of the video, this is literally a 1,000k run. But you do have additional time. There are ways that you could increase your modifier. This is just how to easily get 100k from a solo. So I've got shoulder charge. I could have shoulder charged these, these guys here, but I chose to just break their shields and then take with primary. I had to put a little bit more on, on this guy. Now we're going to put down my rally barricade, which again, you don't have to do that. But when he becomes, when he appears, not even when he's fully formed, just when he appears, that's when you can start hitting him. Look at when the lightning hits this guy. Oof. If I'd have double grenaded him, if I'd have double grenaded him and started shooting him split second before I died, we'd have one phased him with, with the Thunder Lord. But I wanted to make sure I got as much points as possible from this strike. Now, as you'll see here, he's immune because I put that much damage on him. You don't have to. You don't have to put that damage on him. You could have took down his first health bar up top and took the Harpies. That's another... I don't know, five or six thousand, maybe, maybe because they're shielded. Then you could have come down here, and for the time he's here, you could have put a bit of damage on him, then took the adds, and then put more damage on him, and then you could have done the same down here. But I was confident that we would get the hundred thousand just from doing this, and I wasn't after big massive scores, just the hundred thousand. We need now four thousand six hundred nods. Five thousand does it, you know. So, he's already in attack mode, which means I can just clear up some of these ads. You know, I could have kept going here. As you can see, I've got heavy. I've got a heavy drop on the floor. I could have kept going going here if I needed to. And just, if, you, if you're short of points, this is where you get them. You know, just remember you've got momentum. Just keep proccing your momentum and, and you'll be fine. These two pillars where I am, they provide perfect cover. And there you go, melted a thousand. Now, yep, we just made the thousand, but that's all we needed. There is another two minutes, 45 seconds to score points. You can do the bosses differently. I'm just showing you that this is very easy to do. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you. I hope a couple of you do this. If you do, leave a comment. Tell me what score you got. Was this, a, you know, did this work for you? Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Always appreciate your viewership. And I will see you guys in the next video.